<laughs> I just screwed that up here. Welcome to Fat Matt Tones. This is a super easy one, two, three method of learning pentatonic scales. Uh, everybody wants to add that little bit of jazz to their, you know, and, and blues and rock to their to their sounds, and, and this is a super easy way to do that. Everything that I'm teaching you is is not some unlocked secret that that uh, <clears throat> you know I spent years in developing and and you know this is a picture of the neck and there's like twelve you know twelve or fourteen blocks all the way across there and you got to memorize all of them. It's not about that. We're going to keep it as simple as possible. It's called the one two three method to pentatonic scales. Super easy. It's as easy as one two three or one two three. Sorry about the vibrato there. It's kind of hard to play without it. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you all the keynotes that you're going to need to know. It's all going to be on screen. Um, I'm going to break this down simply and the you know and show you a close-ups on on how we do each one of those notes. But it's as simple as counting to one, two, and three. Okay, so let's get started. So down below, just hopefully I can get this above my hands here. Um, is box one of your pentatonic box okay I've got that shown down below and you'll notice that in box one starting on a fifth fret down here at the bottom you notice you have five through eight okay so we're going to be looking at the five or the the heavy or the bottom a well that's kind of hard to say um but anyway it'll start with your two notes on the 8th fret so whenever we're refer referring to the low E string or the 5th fret low E that just sounds so good doesn't it uh, we're going to be referring to what's at the bottom of your screen on the uh, pentatonic scale so you have uh, this is box one. Everybody needs to know box one. Without box one, um, everything's kind of mute at this point. But I'm going to show you box one. So you have fifth fret, eighth fret, fifth, seventh, fifth, seventh, fifth, seventh, fifth, eighth, fifth, eighth. Okay, so. Okay, so that's box one of the pentatonic scale. I'm just showing you that as a reference in A minor, obviously A minor. Um, just showing you that as a reference because we're going to utilize... We're going to utilize those notes in our following section. Okay, so remember this is a one, two, three method of pentatonic, easy pentatonic boxes. Okay. So the next, so what is now down below are the five notes or the one, two, one, two, three section that we're going to be using the easy method of one, two, three to be able to cruise through these notes. Okay. So again, we're starting, instead of starting on the fifth note, A, or the fifth fret, A, we're going to be sliding down, as you'll notice, to the G note on on fret three. So these are the f the one two one two three notes that we're going to be looking at. So it's going to be one two, and then we're moving down, as you'll notice on the screen, to C D and E. So we're moving up one string. So it's one two three, one two one two three. That's it. That's all we're messing with right now. So, and there's a lot you can do within this little box. Okay, so those are the first five notes or all the five notes see because what we're doing is why we're starting on G is because G is so the pentatonic is made up of five of the seven notes okay so major pentatonic 
or major major key. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to the root. That seven note is in the pentatonic. So we're using in the pentatonic instead of all seven. We're only using five. So it's one, three, four, five, and seven. So since the G note is the seventh note in the major or the fifth note in the pentatonic, then we're going to start on the fifth note of the pentatonic instead of the root or first note of the pentatonic scale in that. Instead, we're doing. Okay, so we're going to, if you follow that little pattern right there that's on your screen, it's G A, one, two, one, two, whoops, one, two, three. <laughs> Even I'll screw this up. One, two, one, two, three. I could screw up the easiest thing in the world, and this is the easiest thing in the world, and I'm screwing it up. And this is going to help your manual dexterity, but it's uh, getting around the neck, okay? So it's one, two, one, two, three. All right, that's your first pattern. One, two, one, two, three. As easy as one, two, three. One, two, or as easy as one, two, three. All right, section one, practice that. All right, on to section two. So, in the first lesson, or the first section, we learned G, A, C, D, T, or one, two, one, two, three. All right, if you'll notice down below, again, we have those same notes highlighted in red. Now we're moving on to the yellow section, which is still, again, we're moving up to the D string, and we're instead of utilizing that first G, we're utilizing the second G on, on the D string. Okay, so we're going to do one, two. One, two, three again. So if you put those, what, 10 notes together, and now we've got 10 notes. What? All the five notes of the pentatonic right there in that simple, easy pattern of one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Sorry about the vibrato. Okay? Then you'll practice combining those. So that's sections one and section two. And guess how many sections we're going to have? <gasps> as easy as one, two. Cut. <laughs> All right, on to the next section. Okay, now section three, um, we learned the first five or ten notes of G, A. Oops, got too much stuff going on here. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Now, because of the way this uh, guitar is strung, and you'll notice that on the diagram above in the green now, we're going to use this G on the B string. So G, A. So it's as simple, again, three sections, as simple as one, two, three. Okay. 
So all three of those. Practice those, and you'll notice the patterns right there. You can freeze that, download. I don't know if you need to download it. I guess I can put it on something, though. So you can download it on a website. So if you can practice getting through those, you're across, I think, almost, let's see, that's the bottom of pentatonic five. This is the first of pentatonic one. That's also pentatonic three. That's pentatonic four. So you're crossed four. All those. Oh man, there's so many applications of this. Anyway, practice those. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. And you'll get, that's your basics, okay? Hang in there, you can do this. I know you can do this. It's going to increase your manual dexterity. And you can literally do it in your sleep after a while. Was that C note in there? Was that G note in there? And the A, A plus C plus G plus A. Oh my gosh, things are going to start going crazy. Anyway, anyway, follow that page. You know, freeze it here, pause, do whatever you have to do, and memorize those fifteen notes. You got fifteen notes. All across, what is that, from 3 to 12? All across those 9 frets. And by the way, don't make fun of my guitar. It's, it's kind of what it is. It's my, I love this guitar and I experiment it all the time. I always have a cup of joe around just in case. Hmm. Don't watch me drink. It freaks me out. No drinking problem. Anyway, practice these. Check it out. We're going to continue on um, later on down the road on how all these integrate together. Uh, there's a one, two, one, two, three method. There's also a one, two, three, one, two method. Like a Hendrix thing. That's in the it's just kind of flipping the script on you a little bit, but we're gonna learn how all these integrate together, um, what they do, how they work together to form the rock and roll man, the rock and roll blues that we all you know, gets our juices flowing, and we want to be able to reproduce that, and everybody's done it for decades. So, anyway, uh, hang with us. Practice those three positions of the one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and you will be amazed. Play around with it and see how it works for you. You'll be amazed at how fast things are starting to change for you. Just keep it in the A minor, you know. Was there a what? A and then a C and a G? What just what just happened right there, man? Oh yeah. Uh it was one, two, one, two, three. 
uh, one, uh, easy pentatonic method, and as easy as one, two, three. So anyway, check us out again. Like and subscribe if you would, please. That would be super helpful. Um, it will help me uh, continue to take the time I would normally invest in doing other things around my house and uh, spending time with family and folks to be able to uh, continue these lessons. Again, there's gonna this is going to be easy as one, two, three. We're going to have as easy as three, two, one. We're going to have um, how these integrate into the BB King boxes. How does this, um, you know, rock, thrills, chills, and more to come. So anyway, uh, check it out. Save me, like, subscribe. And we'll catch you again on Fat Matt's Tones. Take it easy. God bless.